playing around with uh, Amiibo cameras. If you don't know, I like Amiibo. I like NDI. I like Ecamm. I like Amiibo. I like integrating Ecamm and Amiibo and NDI. To me, just throwing all this stuff together is is it's just cool. <laughs> so Amiibo came out with something a little while ago, which was the Amiibo Pro subscription. And in beta, they had the NDI set up. So, I mean, coming soon. So I was waiting for it to come out. I recently noticed there was some updates to the, to the app and the cameras. And now NDI is available. So let me explain and show you what I'm talking about. So right here, you could see I got my iPad uh, screen coming in. And this is where I'm running NDI. So if we come over here... You're going to notice now, uh, with a subscription, of course, you got the option for Mevo Go. With Mevo Go, you could get the free app, Mevo Go app, on your phone. And you could either share your screen from your phone, use your phone as a uh, camera, or you could just use it as like a, a microphone, like a wireless microphone, lavalier mic, or whatever you want to call it. But what I really am interested in is the NDI inputs. So you could bring in devices through NDI. So most of the time, my cameras are on NDI. And whenever I have to use Mevo, I have to take them off when I use the Mevo multi-cam app, which I, I don't care for. i rather leave them on. Uh, one of the reasons is because of, you know, Ecamm, I like using the Mevo cameras with Ecamm utilizing NDI. So if you notice all these cameras that you see on uh, the iPad image there, the, the one on the top is actually a Mevo. And I'm actually bring it in, bringing it in through NDI on the uh, multi-cam app. Okay. I'm also bringing in... The other two Mevos, uh, one phone, one iPhone over here on the Mevo Go app, and the screen that I'm sharing is also the Mevo Go app. Now, I could actually like share my screen. So if you look at the top of the top right, that's what's supposed to be what's selected. So you know, I could switch the cameras around. So that's my Mevo drop down. This is my Mevo that's behind me. This is one of my iPhones right here. Like I said, you can see in the corner right that I'm switching. And then this would be the phone. Well, I started thinking that this would be very cool if I could bring in my computer, especially bring in like the Ecamm uh, production. But when I try to do that, it doesn't work. There's issues with it. So right here, I even tried with a Windows computer. So right here, this is my laptop with OBS, and it's set up to where it's on NDI. So if you notice right here, I have it set up for NDI. Now, the computer itself could see it. So this little thing right here, is part of NDI. It could see whatever I'm doing in um, the other computer. But it doesn't necessarily work through the um, Mevo application. Now, I could bring it in. Is that the right button? Yeah, there we go. I could bring it into Ecamm. So right now what you're seeing, this image that you're seeing is Ecamm bringing in my other computer through NDI. So as I change things on the other computer, you'll see it on the stream. The problem I have is I want to bring it in through the camera you know, through, through, through the iPad with, with the Mevos. So I keep getting an error, and the errors drive me nuts, but I did find a little workaround. So on the phone that I'm sharing the screen, 
if I go into this app, now you can see the production. Now I have it selected to where it's grabbing my Legion OBS. And now anything I do, and I'm gonna select it here. So now anything I do will be broadcasted. So I would have to do that with, with, with like Ecamm or any other production. So if I go to fireworks, you should see in the top right, uh, it should change to the fireworks. Now I just turned on NDI and Ecamm. Give it a few seconds to click in. And then we're going to try to grab the Ecamm production. Here we go. So now. Oh, the audio. <laughs> uh, let me see. And there it is. So as you can see now, in the top right, it should switch to where it's showing the same thing that I'm showing you guys. So that is now Ecamm coming into the Mevo Multicam app. But I have to do it with this, this workaround. And, and I don't care for workarounds. They're okay for a little while, but I would prefer if I didn't get the error at all. So that is the error that I'm getting. Now I tried this with Ecamm, I tried this with OBS. Some things, it just doesn't work. And it's the exact same error, but instead it just says OBS on it and everything. So I don't know what a speed HQ NDI is. Uh, to me, NDI is NDI, or it's either full NDI or it's this HX or this other one. But speed, you know, speed, HQ, NDI, no clue. All I know is that is what's preventing me or the setup from working properly. So instead of being able to bring in Ecamm or OBS directly into the Mevo Multicam app with NDI, I have to do the, the little workaround. And again, some people might say, why would you want to do this if you're using something like, you know, Ecamm? Why would you mess around with Mevo Multicam? I just like options. I like options. I like to play away, play around with things. I could bring all this stuff into Ecamm, but if you could bring in your computer and you could bring in all this stuff also to the Mevo side with the Mevo Multicam app, I just think that brings more options and more, you know, creativity for, you know, from coming from people when they utilize and they play with it. So again, just wanted to show this. Uh, the subscription is is not so, so bad, in my opinion, if you go the yearly route, at least now with the discount. So, you know, it's about the price of streaming services or some streaming services. You get a lot more with it, with the Streamlabs setup that I still need to look into and play with. But just bringing in your mobile devices, just bringing in stuff with NDI, to me, is huge for the Mevo setup. But working out this part where if I'm in Ecamm, I just want to bring in the production. OBS just want to bring in the production without having doing any kind of workaround would be nice. All right, that's going to be it for this video.